All right. Glory be to God. Well, good evening, everyone. Today is Wednesday, and today we're going to be getting on to uh, Lecture 6, which I'm going to be covering, um, let's see here, from primates, bats, hedgehogs, shrews, and moles, and uh, scaly ant ears, or uh, pendulums. As they call it. So, uh, let's start with, start off with primates. Um, there's a uh, three primates uh, family or order: uh, lemurs, bush babies, monkeys, and apes. Now, humans are not primates. That is a lie from a pit of hell. And why do I say this? Because evolution is very evolution is a very dangerous teaching that is going on in secular um, schooling. But I understand that uh, Charles Darwin renounced evolution uh, when he gave his life to Jesus Christ before he passed away. But anyway. Um, I don't think humans are apes. I don't think humans are uh, primates. So, yeah. Anyway, so let's get on to lemurs and bush babies first. Um, as you may know, lemurs, um, like ring, ring tail lemurs, are, um, are primates uh, that, that really... Uh, how I say lives on the island of Madagascar. Um, let's see here. Mm, let's see where the information on. Uh, now, um, yeah, so you can find lemurs only on Madagascar, probably around. 100 species at most. Um, let's see here. Mm. Fun. Okay. Lemurs are very greatly in size. Um, they include the smallest primates in the world and until recently, includes some of the largest. Okay. Which is pretty interesting. Um, and, and really, really, um, lemurs uh are pretty interesting animals. You can find them in zoos, or if you want to go to Madagascar, there's a whole bunch of them there. Um, let's see here. Mm. Well, Lemus has the uh, has low. Metabolism rate, um, which is pretty, I don't know, it's weird. And, um, and basically the diet is, uh, highly, uh, you know, different. They're, they're all over wars, and sometimes they eat fruits and insects. From time to time, um, for example, like the ringtail lemur eats insects and small vertebrates when necessary. It's pretty interesting. Um, gosh, I wish there's some more information about this. Um, let's see here. Mm. 
Okay, reproduction. Um, lemurs are um, seasonal breeders uh, with a very small breeding and birth seasons influenced by the highly um, seasonal av availability of resources in their environment. Mating season usually lasts less than three weeks each year with the female vagina opening up only during a few hours or days of her, um, yeah, so that's pretty interesting because that tells me that it, they're, gosh, their breeding seasons are like very, very short, um, Now the uh, gestation period varies with lemurs, ranging from nine weeks in in mouse lemurs and ten to ten to uh, sorry nine to ten weeks in dwarf lemurs to eighteen to twenty four weeks in other lemurs. The smaller nocturnal uh, sorry nocturnal lemurs such as mouse lemurs, giant mouse lemurs, and dwarf lemurs usually give birth to more than one infant. It's in fact. Um, let's see here. That's it. It doesn't have the uh, information about different species. Um, let's see here. The thing to do, yeah, they do. Um, let's see here. They got different families to this. We got the monkey lemurs or the bamboo lemurs are currently extinct uh, lemur, uh, family of lemurs died to a thousand to three thousand years ago. Mm. Okay. The I I is a lemur. The most famous, uh, famous lemur, uh, because it got that long middle finger that trying to grab those grubs, and it had giant ears to hear these these grubs making some noise. Um, gosh, we got a family of uh, oh, what's going on? no. Uh, lemurs. Um, what the heck is that? There's the koala lemur, which is extinct uh, genus belonging to the something family. Um, wow. Sloth lemur, um, a lorus, as I call it. I think that's it. Um, now monkeys. Let's get into monkeys. Monkeys. Um, now monkeys are different between a an ape. In a monkey is that monkeys have tails and they don't. Um, there's two kinds of monkeys that are New World monkeys in that from South and Central Americans, um, America, and the Old World monkeys you can find this in Africa, in Asia, and Europe, if there's any. 
Uh, elephant. Uh, sorry. Um. Uh. uh blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> not lemurs, lorses, and are oh, not monkeys. They're a total different species of itself. And um, so let's see here. Uh, monkeys can range from pygmy marmoset uh, to go from like 4.6 inches and the and the uh, the mandro which is the largest goes to uh, three feet uh, three feet three inches I'm sorry uh, three point three Feet. Um, the most live on trees, while the while some live in savanna on the grasslands. Uh, they usually differ from the different species. Uh, some uh, they eat fruits, uh, leaves, seeds, nuts, flowers, eggs, and small animals, including. Insects and spiders. Okay, so go to classifications. Here are the New World monkeys. Um, the family of um, Marsosets and Taimans, which uh, has. 42 species. Uh, the cap, uh, the capuchins and squirrel monkeys, uh, 14 species. Night, uh, night monkeys, 11 species. Uh, titties, uh, sorcus and Eucalyptus, if I can pronounce it right, has 41 species. Howler monkeys, spider monkeys, and woolly monkeys, 24 species. Now, the Old World monkeys has 135 species. Um, gosh, they cannot name it. Uh, for example, let me give you some of the examples. Allen Swamp Monkey. Um, Gavon Tai Pinin. Uh, Pattis Monkey. Blue Nile Paris Monkey, the Green Monkey, uh, Bell Mounds Violet, uh, Dana Monkey, Greater Spot Nose Monkey, Blue Monkey, Server Monkey, Golden Monkey. Um, lesser spot nose monkey, the red tail monkey. You can find this like in uh, Cameroon, Central African Republic, the different kind of Republic of the Congo, sun tail monkey. Oh, that's nice. I wish I can show you some pictures, but I couldn't in this. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Anyway, the lion tail macaque. The southern pig tail macaque. The northern pig tail macaque. Um, booted macaque. Crab eating macaque. Uh, let's see here. 
Taman Macaq, Greg Cheek, uh, Meg B. A. Can pronounce that. Uh, Olive Baboon, The Yellow Baboon, Ghana Baboon, Himalayas Baboon. Oh, wait. I don't know. I can pronounce it right. Got the, uh, The, the bleeding heart monkey, uh, or the get the uh, baboon, got the mandrill, and the drill. Combus. King Columbus. I can't pronounce these words. Oh, well, um, yeah. So that's a couple of examples of the old world monkeys. Let's move on to the apes now. Apes are pretty interesting. Um, we've seen gorillas. We've seen uh, gibbons. We've seen. Uh, orangutan, these are apes because they don't have a tail. Uh, they are not ancestors of human beings. That's that is a lie. But understand that God created these creatures for a reason. Most non human humanoids, uh, okay, are rare and endangered. I don't know why. Uh, the great apes of Africa also facing threat of from Ebola viruses. Interesting. Ebola is responsible for the death of at least one third of gorillas and chimpanzees since 1990. Hmm. Okay. But we gotta understand that we do not. Uh, we do not evolve from human beings. Figure that is a flat out lie. Now, the diets of these are, can be very eight by eight, but they really eat shoots, roots, leaves with some fruits and some other food, uh, foods as well. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. I don't think they behave like human beings at all, uh, in my opinion. Uh, see here. La la. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, the boy, boyan orangutan. The one to have those face that has a uh, like little I don't know I don't know what to call it but it's um uh, yeah got the uh, Sumatran orangutan the uh, Timpani orangutan. We got Western gorillas and Eastern gorillas. They're both different. Uh, the common chimpanzee. The the pygmy. Uh, sorry, the pygmy chimpanzee. Now we got Gibbons. Uh, we got the Lord Givens, or also known as White Hand Givens, which are endangered. We got the Boyan White Beard Givens, which is another endangered species. The Survey 
Uh, Gibbons. Yeah, I've never seen these Gibbons before. Huh. You got Gray Gibbons. Oops. Or oh, the Mueller uh, Bonian Gibbons. The Black Handed Gibbons. Pretty interesting. Now we got the Western Whole Lock Givens, the Eastern Whole Lock Givens, the Skywalker Whole Lock Givens. Wow. You got the uh, uh, the Slingerman, one of those uh, givens that are, you know, singing. Uh, Northern Bluff Cheeked Givens, Black Crest Givens, the Eastern Black Crest Givens. Uh, the Southern White Cheek Givens, the Northern White Cheek Givens, and the Yellow Cheek Givens. What's pretty interesting? Uh, really enjoy that. Really enjoy that. All right, uh, let's get into bats. Now we've seen back before in our backyards at night. Uh, bats are pretty interesting because uh, God created bats um, for a reason. Is that bats are good at hunting for insects. Some some species such as uh, flying foxes eat fruits, uh, and some uh, catch small fish. Uh, which we get into later. Now we got mega bats who are fruit eating. Uh, this is the largest order of mammals, which covers 20% of all classified mammals species worldwide, with over 1,200 species. Uh, we got vampire bats feed on blood. Uh, most bats are nocturnal and lives in. In, uh, in caves uh, or other refuge. Um, let's see here. They got, you know, four, they, their fore limbs or, or they're part of their wings or adapted as wings. Uh, the largest bat are the flying foxes. I think I covered most of it. Let's see here. So, these bats are uh, pretty amazing. Uh, we got the family of mega bats. They uh, eat fruit. Or they call it fruit bats. Some call it in old world fruit bats, especially fine flying foxes. Um... We have the sick winged or the chef tailed bats family. We got the, uh, gosh, I can't pronounce this. Oh, the thumbless bats. Uh, only got two species. Uh, we got the, I don't know. Oh. We got the feed tailed bats. And then we got the uh, more generally known as the ghost face bats. We got the New Zealand short tail bats. The family of. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Ooh.
We got the uh, <coughs> the funnel <phono> eel. <coughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we got the funnel ear bats. Okay, we got the bulldog bats or the fishing bats. Um yeah. We got the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got the New World Leaf nose bats. Dusk wing bats. We got a family of those. We got the uh, evening bats or the common bats. And then we got the bumblebee bats family. The old world leaf nose bats. The family of false vampire bats. Then we got the horseshoe bats. The mouse tail bats. <coughs> <coughs> so that's all the family. Um, yeah, they're they're pretty interesting animals. Uh, I remember when I was in uh, the north no, on the um, the Washington Zoo in Washington D.C. Uh, I went to the bats uh, exhibit. And man, there's a whole lot of bats. I tell you, it, it, it's the most, uh, the most beautiful bats that I I ever seen. So, uh, let's get into uh, hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are pretty amazing animals. Uh, you can have one as a pet. Uh, however, these are you know, I don't know, they're endangered, but. But these are the most most uh, kept as pets. Look at how small it is. Um, now there's 17 species of hedgehogs uh, found parts of Europe, Asia, Africa, and New Zealand by introduction. There are no hedgehogs native to Australia, and no living species native. To, to the Americas, except for the extinct genus of, uh, trying to pronounce that word for that long, which once present in North America. Hedgehog shared distant ancestry with shrews, uh, which is pretty interesting. They have adapted to nocturnal way of living, uh, hedgehog spiny protection, but unre unrelated to porcupine. Um, yeah, so there you go. The diet, which is pretty interesting, um, they uh, now abandon the order insectivore. Hedgehogs are undivores, and they feed on insects, uh, snails, frogs, and toads, snakes, bird eggs, car uh, carrion, uh, mushrooms, grass roots, uh, berries, melon, and watermelons, which is awesome. And the hibernation. Um... The body temperature of the hedgehog can decrease to about 36 Fahrenheit. When the animal awakes from hibernation, the body temperature rises from 36 to 41 Fahrenheit back to its normal 86 to 95 body temperature, which is pretty awesome. Now, depending on the species, uh, the 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 generation period is about 35 to 50, 58 days. Uh, the average litter can go up to three to four newborns. Now, larger species can have 
of sorry for larger species, but smaller species can have five to six liters. Um, for adult males, hedgehogs to killed and newborns are rare, uh, very rare indeed. Uh, hedgehogs had a uh, relatively long lifespan for their size. Larger species of hedgehogs live four to seven years in the wild. Some have been record up to 16 years, which is pretty rare. And, s and smaller species live two to four years, uh, four to seven years in captivity. Compared to the mouse at two years and a large rat three to five years. Lack of predators and controlled diet contribute to a longer lifespan in captivity, eight to ten years, depending on size, which is pretty amazing. Um, wow, pretty amazing. Now they do have some diseases that that there are. Pretty much common to the humans has, uh, they can have cancer, they can have uh, fatty liver disease, and cardiovascular disease. Uh, cancer is very common in hedgehogs, so please expect them if you're owning a hedgehog as a pet. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Now, the fatty liver disease is believed by many to cause by bad diets. Uh, hedgehog will eagerly eat food that are high in fat and sugar. And having a metabolism uh, adapted for low-fat, protein-rich insects, this leads to common problems of obesity. Uh uh, fatty liver disease is one sign. Heart disease is another. <sighs> wow. Um, hedgehogs can suffer from balloon dis disorder, uh, balloon syndrome. Uh, balloon syndrome is a rare condition in hedgehogs in which gases is trapped under the skin as a result of injury or inflammation, or sorry, or infection causing the animal to inflate. Okay, there you go. Um, yeah. Let's see here. All right, here comes the favorite part. The species. Again, there's seven, ten, 17 species of it. Uh, we got the four toed hedgehog, the North African hedgehog, the Southern African hedgehog, um, the Southern white breast hedgehog, okay, the European hedgehog. The Northern White Breast Hedgehog, the Long Ear Hedgehog, the Indian Long Ear Hedgehog, um, the Desert Hedgehog, uh, Bear Belly Hedgehog. And I think that's all the 17 species that they have. All right, shrews and moles. Let's start with shrews first because the shrews. Or, now these are true shrews. These don't don't get confused with uh with uh the West Indy shrews, the tree shrews, the olive shrews, the elephant shrew, which belong to different fam different families or orders. Um. Shrews are small mole-like mammals. Uh, but they're not moles, so. Trying to read this carefully. 
Um, all shrews are comparative small, most no larger than a mouse. Uh, the largest species is the Asian house shrew, uh, tropical Asia. Um, the shrews are territorial creatures that forage with seeds, insects, nuts, worms, and various of other fruits and leaf litters in decay vegetation. Uh, some grow on trees, some live in underground, some live under snow, or even hunting in water. They have small eyes and generally poor vision, but but a but excellent senses of hearing and smell. Uh, shrews have ultimately high metallic, uh what are you going the uh, uh, the um, high metallic metallic rates than any other animal? Um, they do not have an eight, which is pretty interesting. And <coughs> uh, female shrews can have up to ten litters a year. A year, they breed all year round. Uh, they only stop breeding in the winter. Uh, shrews have a generation period of seventeen to thirty-two days. Uh, the female often becomes pregnant within a day or so of giving birth. Okay. Breeding one litter as the next is born. Shrew lives 12 to 30 months. Now that's the shortest time that you have as a mammal. Um, some species are, uh, sorry, some species of shrew are venomous. Um. Yeah, so be very careful if you encounter shrews, uh, especially the American small tear shrew uh, has venom that kills mice. And uh, shrew venom may be useful in the treatment of high blood pressure. Which is pretty weird. Uh, yeah. So here are the. Uh, let's see. That uh, well, there's 385 species of shrews. Uh, I'll give you a few example: a musk shrew, the large head shrew, and a forest shrew. And uh, let's take a look at moles. Now I never seen a mole in a in the wild, but I see it in zoos. And moles. Let me see here. I'm talking about here. Yeah, I'm talking about uh, okay. Moles. Moles are basically underground mammals. <coughs> <coughs> now they find in North America, Asia, Europe. Um. Yeah. And basically, uh, moles have been found to have higher levels of carbon dioxide than any other mammal. Because the blood cells have a special form of hemoglobin. 
Um, yeah, it was pretty weird. Their diet, <coughs> <coughs> their diet, uh, basically eats you know earthworms, other small invertebrates found in the soil, and varieties of nuts. Um. And the breeding season for moles depends on the species, generally from February through May. Um, male search for a female by leading out high pitch squeaks. Um, yeah, so the 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 Jason's period of eastern North American moles is forty two days, having three to five. Young are born mostly in May and early uh, April. <coughs> Townsend moles mate in February, uh, yeah, February in, in March, and the two four youngs are born in May. Um, sorry, in March and uh, April. So the Townsend mole is endangered in the United States and. Canada. Coastal moles produce a litter of two to five pups between March and April. Uh, pups leave the nest 30 to 45 days after birth to find territorial territories of their own. Pretty interesting. Now we got the new world moles. For example, the star nose moles. You can see it on the zoos. Uh, we got the hairy tailed mole, the eastern mole, the western North American mole, and we got the old world moles. Uh, for example, if there's any uh, long tail moles, true shrew moles, Japanese uh, shrew moles. Yeah. Let's see here. And there's other moles too. Uh like the golden mole. Uh but they're in a different genus. Like uh for example like Cape Golden Mole, Giant Golden Mole, Rough Haired Golden Mole, uh Congo Golden Mole, Yellow Golden Mole. Uh, and marsupial moles, which are in a different family or genus. Lastly, for not least, lastly, for not least, um, the penguin, is a very endangered species of scaled mammals. Yes, folks, they have scaled mammals. Uh, what, what is it? The pendulum have large protective curtain scales covering the, their body. They are the only known mammal with this feature. They live in hollow trees or burrows, depending on the species. Pendulum are nocturnal. Their diet consists ants and termites um, with their long tongue. Let's see, uh, produce litters of one or two offsprings, which are raised for about two years. By now, they are in threatened and endangered species. Yes, they are going to be extinct. Probably sooner than I thought. Um, they are insectivores, as we know. Um, their age to period differs by species, ranging from roughly 70 to 140 days. African pregnant females usually give birth to a single young at a time, 
Asiatic species may give birth from one to three litters. Uh, uh, let's see here. Here are the uh, example species. Uh, the tree pangolin, the long tail pangolin, pangolin, so the um, well, the only eight species of pangolin out there. So, uh, giant pangolin and the ground pangolin, the Asian giant pangolin, the uh, the Indian pangolin, the Chinese pangolin, the Sana pangolin. And uh, lastly, the Philippine pangolin. So that's the end. That's the end of this lecture. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I know I should have included pictures and stuff what I'm talking about, but uh, I just don't have the right technology right now. So uh, just bear, you know, bear with me. You know. Um, so yeah. So uh, I hope that you enjoy this. May God bless you and keep you. And I'll see you again later.